I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout involves three different training techniques, all aimed to get your heart rate into a fat burning zone. So we will burn fat during the workout and long after the workout is done. We'll also be building lean muscle, which is going to increase your metabolism over time. We'll use PHA, peripheral heart action, compound moves, and weighted low impact cardio. So this is a safe workout for your joints. If you can't do squats or lunges, I will give you modifications, so please come along with us. If this is the type of workout that would appeal to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Blood flowing to your muscles. Deep breaths. Oxygenated blood is what they want to do the work. Good. Let's bring the knees up in front. A little twist. Pull the abs tight. So we will start with a PHA round, peripheral heart action. What we do is we do an upper, then a lower, back to the upper, back to the lower, body strength move. No rest in between. So what happens is the heart is pumping the blood to the upper body and then, woo, got to pump it down to the lower body, kind of confusing it a little bit. Some metabolic conditioning, reach out. And then what we'll do is we'll take those two moves and we're going to do a combination round. Do the two moves together. Compound work in combination, another way to get that heart rate up. Lots of muscles needing oxygen. So up goes the heart rate. We'll finish off that round and go into a low impact cardio, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then we'll do it one more time. So that is one circuit. Grab your weight, I'm gonna go with my medium weight for this first round. Probably medium most of the, most of the workout. We're gonna start with a high row, okay? Here we go, pull it up. Now look at my elbows, they are leading up. My weight is following, my wrists are neutral. So what that means is I'm not turning this way. See the difference? Straight up versus that. We want to go straight up and down. Got 10 more seconds here. And then we're going into an alternating side lunge. So we're going to step to your right first. In three, two, one. So side lunge or Take a little bit of the bend out, still get that stretch in the inner thigh and the inner thigh work as you stand up. If you can go deeper, find where you can go without hurting the knee. If you have knee pain, I want you to stay up top. I want you to stay with a little bend, still getting muscle work on that inner thigh, okay? I'm gonna give you modifications in all of my videos so that you can do these workouts. Here we go, back to the upper body, right there. You feel the heart rate coming up? We want to get into our cardio fat burning zone. That is the lower end of your cardio range. 65 to 75% of max. Our full cardio range is 65 to 85%. At the top of that range, it's tough to talk. Let's go to your right with that side lunge. Ready? Here we go. We want to be in the bottom half because that is where you burn the most fat. So percentage-wise, you're going to burn about 70% fat calories when we stay in the lower end versus only about 50 at the higher end. At the higher end, you likely have to do a lot of impact work, you know, fast jog run, for example. We're almost ready to combine these. Ready? Side lunge, high row. Side lunge, high row. So you're gonna take the number 220, subtract your age, multiply that number that you get, 220 minus your age, by 0.65 and 0.85. That gives you a range, 65 to 85% of your max heart rate. You wanna stay in the lower half of that to burn fat. And you should be huffing and puffing, I know I am. We are there. We're gonna go into a low impact cardio with weight as 
soon as we finish this round, we'll have 15 seconds to rest. I'm gonna grab one of my light weights. Just adding this little bit of resistance is gonna make this move impactful without hurting your joints. We're gonna skate, so we'll go to your right first. Give me big arms. Ready, deep breath, here we go. Tap it back, now this is 20 seconds. I want you to put it, put out the power here, okay? Give me all you got. Okay, 10 second rest, and we'll do it one more time. First round's over, just like that. Take your rest, look forward to seeing my heart rate. I'm right in that low end of my zone, mid 120s. So I wanna get it up a little bit more. Ready, here we go. Skate it out. Second rest coming, water break. Chance to catch your breath. Don't bring the heart rate back up. So you get a high impact interval training mode there as well. So heart rate up, takes it down, bringing it back up. Grab a sip of water, I'm going back to my medium weights for the next round. I'm gonna start with an alternating overhead press. And a squat, or I'll give you a modification. You're not squatting. We're gonna press, press, okay? Squats, you're gonna do a rear leg raise. Rear leg raise, just like that. Here we go. Press it with your right arm. There it is, there it is. We're on the clock, come on. Back to strength. Isolation move, upper body move here. In this PHA round. And we'll transition to lower, back to upper, back to lower. All right, into those squats. Weight in your heels down and up, or rear leg lift, rear leg lift. Here's your modification. Still get your glutes, protecting those knees. Maybe you can do a little squat. Activate, stand and squeeze. Activate, stand and squeeze. Find what works for you. I want my workouts on this channel to be doable for everyone. Doesn't mean they're gonna be easy, they're gonna be hard, but I want to give you modifications back to those presses. Here we go. That allow you to stay with us. Those are tight. Feel them. Core is working. Almost there. And we'll go back to those rear leg lifts or squats. Ready, here we go. Down and up, weight in your heels. Come up, squeeze the glutes, or squeeze, squeeze. Right with the same pace as us as we do a squat, you do one rear leg lift. I'm gonna combine this. If you're doing the rear leg lifts, your move's gonna look a little different, okay? So, finish those squats, you're either squat, and press or here, push, push, okay? Here's your modification or squat, twist, squat, twist. Pick which one works for you. Heart rate's up, right? <laughs> no matter what you're doing, you're using a lot of muscles at the same time. That requires oxygen. Come on, this is a longer round, 45 seconds. Get a short break. Move on to our second cardio. Good, okay. Moving down to my lower weight. We'll do a punch and kick. Punch the front. So we'll punch our right arm, kick our left leg, and alternate. Ready, deep breath. Here we go, 20 seconds. Go hard, come on. This should be the top of our cardio right here. Metabolic conditioning. Our heart is doing three different things in this workout. All aimed at burning fat, which we love, right? Okay, 
10 seconds, we go again, and you get a rest after that. Deep breath. Right arm first. 10 seconds goes fast. Here we go. Punch it out. Second rest, 30 seconds. I'm gonna go over what we're gonna do next. If you're just starting out and using dumbbells and you have options, go with your lighter weight here. Flat back, taking your arms out to the side. So it looks like that down here. This is a fly for your back. Go light if you're just starting out, or water bottles, works just fine. I'm gonna go medium, 30 seconds. I think I can do it, I can always lighten my weight. Ready, hinge it down. So my weight is in my heels, which is keeping pressure out of my knees. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together while I'm relaxing my neck, looking about four feet in front of my toes. That's gonna keep my neck aligned with my spine. A couple more here and then we go to a deadlift. You have not done a deadlift, Come with me, weight in your heels, weight stays close to the body, down, up, hips forward, squeeze the glutes. So it's down, and up, and down. You should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom because that weight is in the heels. That's gonna protect your knees. Flat back. Again, I am looking about five feet out. So try to avoid doing that where you're looking down. Neck relaxed. Align with the spine. Ready? Here we go. Flies. Squeeze the back. My abs are tight. My weight's in my heels. And I am breathing. Try to hold your breath. Shoulders are relaxed. So it's mid-back right here. Rhomboids right around the spine. Lats are assisting. Ready, back to those deadlifts. Here we go. Smooth transition. Slow down your pace if you're having a hard time talking right now. Slow it down. You could even take a 10 second rest if you truly need to. I want you to do that versus saying, ah, oh, forget it, I'm not doing this workout. Stay with us, you're worth it. Down and up. And we're gonna combine this. So we're gonna go down in our deadlift, do a fly and up. So I go down, I rotate my hands facing each other and then I put them next to my body as I come up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Weights in my heels, I know I say that a lot, but that is how you're gonna protect your knees. Think about weight in the heels, just about every strength move you do. You wanna stay out of those toes. Get done with this round, you're halfway through. Get it done. Let's do one more, come on. Go on the clock. There it is, nice job. All right, I'm gonna put my weight down. I'm not gonna use weight for this next one. We're gonna hamstring curl, arms forward and back. Let's go with your right leg up and back first. Ready? Here we go, power. Give a little bounce if you can. Nice pull. Relax your shoulders. Squeeze in the back and chest. Heart rate up. Come on. You want to go even higher? Hands above your head. Makes the heart have to work just a little bit harder. Always options. If this becomes too much. You're breathing too heavy. Come back here. I think I'm going to do my second round up here. Right heel up first. Ready? Here we go. Pull. Pull. We are keeping one foot on the ground at all times. Low impact, we could go high right here, but we want to protect our joints. More important to protect joints and burn those extra two or three calories and hurt the joints. Not worth it, not worth it at all. Okay, I am going to challenge myself with my medium weight here. Round four is up, yes, round four. 
So a bicep curl, palms face me, curling up. I want you to take your hands, twist your, from your elbows out to the corners of your room. The weight's gonna come up on the side. It's gonna feel a little different. Hits that bicep a little bit differently. Ready, deep breath, quick break. Here we go, we're on the clock, up and down. Now my workouts are not out an hour on the channel because if you're efficient, and this workout certainly is efficient, you don't need an hour, you don't need an expensive gym membership, you just need to hit play. We're gonna couple this with a curtsy lunge or a touchback. So get the feet ready, go right leg back. It's curtsy, get low, drive through heel, or back and up. Way back, feel that, and up. Keep it up high, or if you can, take it down. Either way, work in that lower body. Pardon saying what? Driving that oxygenated blood down right now, and then boom, I turn it around again. Ready? Wide bicep curl. Abs are tight here. If you've got a wide stance like I do with your feet, don't lock your knees. You want to have loose knees, not bent per se, but they're not locked. We want to keep the blood flowing, and that's a good way to do it. Elbows in, upper arm does not move. Get ready for that curtsy, right leg back. Here we go, either tap back or get low. Tap back, come in, tap back, and in. Take it low if you can. Now, if squats or lunges bother your knees, some of these lateral moves side to side like this, like a side lunge, curtsy lunge, hits the lower body a little differently you might be able to go a little deeper than you would just a regular squat. We've got one more and then we're gonna add the curl, ready? Wide curl, down, wide curl, down. Bring it up wide, good, down, wide. Keep those elbows at the waist, touching your waist. Those glutes are feeling this. Our soccer kicks coming up for our cardio. Just gonna stretch them out. One, 10 seconds. And get that little rest, right? 15 second rest before we pour it on for our cardio. Good. Okay. I'm gonna stick with one of my medium weights. You can do these without weights. The weight just adds that little extra oomph. Holding the weight, soccer kick. Chopping across the, the thigh. Like you're kicking a soccer ball. Soccer balls hit the midfoot, right in the arch. Heel is sort of leading here. And come on, power, power. Good. Whew. 10 seconds, we go again. Getting to be a lot with the weight. Put the weight down and just stick with the kicks, okay? Here we go, kick it. Kick, kick, kick. Can you hear me breathing? Woo. Good. All right, 30 second rest, moving on. I am going with my light weight for this next round. Two dumbbells, so my heart rate, 143. So that's coming up into the, kind of the high range, mid to high range of my low half of my heart rate. Perfect, it's exactly where I want it. It's where I'm burning fat. And your heart rate may be different, especially if you're just starting out. Once you become more cardio conditioned, it'll be lower. Holding the weight here, I want you to push it out, open. Round arms, like you're hugging a big barrel there. Push, open, round arms, in. Work in the chest. This is all standing, this workout. Again, I want you to be able to do it. Sometimes getting on and off the floor can be challenging. 
So I do do a lot of all standing workouts. So if that's what you're looking for, please subscribe to my channel. You'll see a lot of opportunity. Now from here, swing through. So we have a bent knee, squat down, up, or more of a hinge, and up, hinge from the waist. Remember, keep the weight in the heels right there. You won't feel it in your knees. You can come all the way down, all the way down, abs tight. Flat back, come on up, drive the hips forward, squeeze. Maybe you're seeing where we're going with this combination here. Good. And from here, push it out, open, hug the barrel in, push, feel it. You know why I pick light weights? Long levers. That weight is far away from the body during this move. So we have the five pound weight, but gravity is pulling on my arms too. So it makes this heavier than five pounds. Much heavier as we get through this second round here. All right, ready? Swing it through. Bent knee or hinge from the waist. Just keep your head above your heart. Looking out three to four feet. Oh, make that your reality. Don't look down at your feet. Open core here. Just glutes all the way up to the breast area. Down and up. Front and back. So abs and back. We want to work them together. We're going to add that right here. Open. Close. Swing it down. Up. Open. Close. The weight gets too heavy, and it might. Put your weight down. Do the move without weight. Like I said, gravity is pulling on those arms, so there is resistance. These long levers away from the body really can fatigue you. Ten more seconds. Come on, stick with me. It's worth it. We're worth it, right? You know, I say that all the time, but it's true. Last one. <laughs> I'm going to skip that last fly there. Okay. Going with one weight. We're going to go to your right. I want you to come one, two, three, and down. So make a big, kind of like a sunrise, I call it. Up and over. Ready? One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, down. Now, you can do this without weight. Weight just adds that little oomph. If you've been doing this a while, the weight is good. You're just starting out. Do it without weight, totally fine. Good. 10 seconds, we go again. Then we have one round left. Can that go quick? Quick, quick, quick. Lots of calories. High heart rate. Ready? Here we go, up and over. One, two, three, and down. As tight here, you're working them. is going. Excuse me. All right, I'm grabbing one of my mediums. I never did use my heavies, did I? PHA, constant motion. Not a lot of time to switch it up. I'm going to put the weight behind my head, elbows forward. Moving with a staggered stance, I feel more balanced. Push it up, hand down. Just work in the back of your arms, it's total body. Got to hit these triceps. We've hit everything. Going to a wide squat, and I'll show you how to modify that if you need to. But you may try it because just the different position of the feet takes the impact out of those knees. I have a lot of clients who can do the wide squats, but not the squats where the knees are going forward. Toes are out, weight in your heels, drive it up, or engage and up. Engage as you come up, squeeze the glutes. Don't go as deep. Find where it works for you. And if you're just engaging those muscles, hand up and squeeze, you're getting work. And you're making that PHA work for you too because the heart recognizes that now the muscles of the lower body are moving. So it's switching up 
Back to the overhead, ready? Elbows forward. Now on this video, it looks like my elbows are out. If my elbows were out, they'd be like that. I am pushing them towards you. That's how I get it in the back of my arms and not my shoulders. You want this to be about those triceps. Staying in my wide stance so I can just transition here quickly. There we go. Down and up or engaging up or halfway, wherever it feels safe for you. Maybe there. I don't feel that in my knees at all. I'm gonna put these two together and uh, I'll show you. We're gonna put a press in here. I'm gonna hold this behind our head as we do these squats. It wouldn't be particularly safe. I'm gonna hold the weight right here on this next one. Push it up. Push it up behind the head. Up, back to your chest. Down, push it up. Now, as it comes back to your chest, give you the squat or engage those inner thighs. Right there, up. Now it's tight. Stay with me. Almost done with our combination work, compound muscle work. All these muscles need oxygen. Heart has to work pretty hard. I'm gonna finish this one, come on. You want that pretty back of the arm, right? Finish with me, good job. All right, moving on to our final cardio. We're gonna take a one, two, three walk with a knee. So we'll go one, two, three, crunch. Ready, deep breath to your right. Here we go. One, two, three, and knee. One, two, three, knee. I want you to move, this is it. Quick stretch after this. Good time for a longer stretch. Stretch playlist on the channel, up over there. Anywhere from seven to 20 minutes of stretching. 20 minutes, if we could do a 20 minute stretch after this, every time, that'd be awesome, right? Who has the time for that? Unfortunately, we, here we go. We scrimp on our stretching. So if you have a day, or maybe you don't have enough time for a long workout, do a stretch. Elongating your muscles, as important as contracting them, which is how we strengthen. There it is. Wow, that went quickly. Did that go quickly for you? Maybe you're going, no, Rada, that did not go quickly. Well, went quickly for me. I hope it went quickly for you. Let's put our hands on our knees and around our back, around across the back of the shoulder blades and from the glute area all the way up to the neck and then flatten. And round it again. The heart is pumping. Let's step back. Toe up. We want to feel the back of the leg here. Weights in that heel, the standing foot. Let's go to the other side. I want to congratulate you if you hit play and you stuck with this workout. Strength training as we age is the most important thing that we can do for our bodies from an exercise standpoint. Stretching that inner thigh. Keeping that lean muscle that we start to lose right around 40 years old, at about 3% a year. Shouldn't sound like a lot, but it adds up, right? We're gonna live to be nice, ripe old age. It's a lot of muscle loss. If we maintain it, guess what? We'll be walking around while our counterparts might not be. Reach over. The key, is to do it safely. In my 40s, I am in my 50s, did a lot, a lot of hit, high impact, high intensity interval training with impact on my knees and my hip. And I am suffering the consequences. That's why this channel is really branded into a low impact cardio and strength channel. Because if you're starting in your late 30s, early 40s or beyond, I want you to do what's safe. I don't want you to get to my age, 59, less than a week, ah, and have joint issues if we can avoid it. And if you do have joint issues and you do the modifications, you're strengthening those muscles around the joints, 
which only is going to improve how you feel. Even if you've got some bone on bone arthritis, lift around the shoulders back. Not a lot you can do about that, but if the muscles are strong, it kind of helps support that pressure that happens of those bones touching each other. Let's bring the neck to one side, a lot of lifting. Stretch it out. Come up, other side. So glad you joined me. I just, I do. I love doing these videos. It's, it's so much fun. And I love getting your comments over the shoulders. So tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you'd like to see more of on the channel. This is your channel. Let's make it that way. And the way I do that is with your feedback. Deep breath in. Exhale, big smile. One more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. Have a wonderful day. Please come back often. Lots of options on this channel. Look around, check out the playlist, find out what works for you. We'll see you next time.